the money men. I think they're all over at uh, cozy.gov right now, probably giving Baked Alaska life advice because he's about to go to prison. Oh, my God. Baked Alaska. What is the date that he's going into jail? Was the judge being super ironic? Wasn't it January 6th? Is he going into prison January 6th? I think that was like an ultimate fuck you from the sitting judge, wasn't it? It's probably like January 20th. But if the judge had a sense of humor, he would have made it January 6th. Oh. Poor little baked. Do I have any baked pictures in here? I'm sorry. With the the last week, I've been a sick boy, so I really haven't had a chance to put anything together. I was going to do a show, and then, ah, uh, we'll watch Murdoch Murdoch. But let me see if I can find some I'm Baked Alaska, the federal informant pictures. I'm sure I've got some somewhere. Oh, there we are. Look at that dumper. Look at that fat fucking dumper walking into the Hoover building. I wonder what his conversations with his handlers are like. Listen, bro. I gave you like 18 people, okay? I gave you groups and groups of gripers. I even set you up with that little CP-loving fuck, Latino Zoomer. Okay? I've handed over so many. Please don't send me to jail. Even though you're going to send me to pussy-ass pansy slap on the rest white-collar jail. I still can't handle it. I'm just a plump and dump little boy. Hum, what am I going to do in jail? I can't buy hair gel. I can't dye my blonde hair blonde anymore in jail. The prisoners are going to ejaculate on me, which I'd probably like, to be honest. But it'll be prison cum. And that's the lowest form of cum. Listen, Handler, you need to talk to my boss, Nick Fuentes. He has a breakdown on the levels of semen and which you want to have ejaculated onto you. It's a lifelong philosophy that I've been following forever. Do we have any more baked pictures? Let's look at our baked pictures. Oh, what's up? What's up? It's Baked Alaska here, boys. Wearing my Pit Viper glasses. <laughs> Hanging outside the, the Hoover building again. Got my boy here, the Rage Pig. Getting ready to get sent up the river. Going to be real tragic as I'm there for one hour because I handed over the identities of 48 people <laughs> so I don't face any consequences for my stupid actions. What do we got? Oh, we got another one here. Hey, guys. Baked, it's Baked Alaska here. Remember to donate. <laughs> Remember to donate, you dumb fuckers. Oh, ah, I forgot about that. Didn't Louise tell everybody that he was never, ever, never, ever going to stream on Cozy.gov? And now he does to an audience of 10 people because nobody watches him? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the Power Chat boys. The Power Chat boys are back together again. And it looks like Bake's got a box full of receipts. It's okay. I'm sure the Groypers are fine. You know, it's only been like, what, 22 of them arrested? You guys are fine. Don't worry. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, things are going to be okay. <laughs> oh, what is his jail date? Somebody in chat, please tell me. Oh, what do we got here from Zeno Ultima? And then are you? December's been a blast so far. Well, December has been fun. It has been an entertaining month. We've had we've had uh, the start of some shenanigans. I'm sure the year will f you know uh, finish off strong. We'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, the Google Doc shit. I forgot about that. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Well, we'll we'll get to that in a second. Nobody in chat knows when this guy's going to jail. Does that mean he's not going to jail? He's not going to prison, is he? It's all been an op. His handler saw that big, fat dumper, and he wanted to pump the shit out of it, and now he doesn't have to go to jail anymore. Fucking tragic. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely tragic. How can none of you know when this man's going to prison? January 2nd. Thank you. Oh, now we got a, a January 6th. We've got uh, bunny evil, bunny, bunny, bunny. So the January 2nd one, I think, is for the macing incident, is it not? And then he's got to go in for his federal pumper dump crimes, right? So he's got he's got two. One would be a county jail situation. The other would be a federal prison. And again, it's probably going to be some bullshit uh, white collar thing. You know, actually, isn't there a video of baked Alaska being doused with milk? I'm pretty sure there's a video out there before he became the uh, uh, the content sprayer, where he was a content spray e where he's surrounded by a group of men uh, basically dumping milk all over his face. 
as Bake sits there with his mouth wide open. And it's weird because the, 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 like the whole group just keeps chanting, bro job, bro job. I don't know what that's about. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what bro job means. If I look it up, will I f milk, quote unquote, that's correct. Quote unquote milk. Yes. Should we find that video? Should we watch Baked Alaska get, get, <laughs> get maced? Let me, uh, if I look up Baked Alaska milk, will that find it? I bet it will. This will probably be a good, you know, reenactment or a pre-enactment. Wouldn't be a reenactment, a pre-enactment of what's going to happen to him in jail. Let me just pull up a clip of this here. One second. Let's let's find the video of him just getting doused in milk as all those boys are screaming bro job. Oh, here we go. Baked Alaska maced it for oh, it was Charlottesville. I love how they put the, the title. You know, I think we've moved past this point. Uh, let me put this up on screen. Uh, one second here, chat. Hopefully it comes in all the way. There we go. All right, look at this title. Baked Alaska, maced at Virginia Charlottesville, neo-Nazi white supremacist protest hit with bear mace. I mean, let's, I don't think you need all of that, okay? You could just say, Baked Alaska, how about big dumb fuck, <laughs> big dumb fuck content sprayed and pre-karmic attack. God says, just kidding him back for the shit he's going to do later. That would be a better title, I think. But let's take a look. I need to rub it. No, you don't want to rub it. You, you want to let it run. Now, I'm not sure if the tuba music was originally there, but if there was a, a, a neo-Nazi white... My God. Could you imagine if there was a hardcore white nationalist at this clusterfuck of optics pigs? <laughs> There's little Nick Fuentes and Baked Alas. They're all, all you neo-Nazis, you white supremacists, you're fucking it up for everybody. But there in the background is the most hardcore neo-Nazi you've ever seen. The biggest white supremacist on earth. He's got a shirt that just has naked black children being hung from a tree. And the back of it in big bold lettering, it says, kill the Jews. He's got boots made, <laughs> boots with a Confederate flag on them and a swastika buckle. He's like a living incarnation of every racist meme that's ever existed. And he brought a tuba with him, waiting for this moment. For Baked Alaska to get maced. So he could walk around with a fucking tuba. That would have been awesome. Help! I'm sorry, Sam. This is what free speech is, apparently. No, 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 what, what, uh, I don't know. Keep them closed. Open them. You've got two options here, Baked. Open or closed. Or I can hand you the spoon. You could dig them out. Maybe dig your eyes out. Somebody get a spoon. Ask the tuba guy if he's got a spoon on. Keep them closed. Let it work. Let it work, brother. Keep them closed. You're going to take some time, right? Is he? Wait a minute. Chat. I need to make sure the audio. All right, everybody. Uh, pay very close attention to this. I think the homosexuality began much earlier than we expected. This man walked over and began rubbing his chest and his tummy. And I swear to God, he's meowing. Listen to what he says. It's meow, meow. He's meowing. He's meowing like a cat because somebody somebody's rubbing his tummy. Oh, my God. This is cat faggotry. This is cat boy faggotry. I don't think Baked Alaska got maced at all. They're feeding him milk, rubbing his tummy, and he's meowing like a cat. Boy, that's a situation I bet Baked is familiar with. It, can I turn over now? I'm surrounded by a bunch of men, all in a semicircle around me, laying on my back. Can I can I get on all fours now, boys? Ass up, <laughs> head down, ass up. That's the way Baked likes to fuck. This is what he looks like at every half-naked tickle fight he's ever had. Remember Ali Jamal's midlife crisis uh, slumber party? This is what Bake looked like after 10 minutes of there. Just blasted right on the face. There was Nick Fuentes a few meters away with uh, one of the, the largest black light flashlights you've ever seen. I can't even the gigawatt power of that thing. Who knows? It's hooked up to a fucking Tesla battery that people use to charge their cars up. <laughs> Bake's face glows.
I want to take this and just, uh, I want to edit it, is what I want to do. I just want him meowing. That's the only, that's the only audio I want out of this, is him meowing. And then I want to turn this into some kind of gay porn video. That's that's my goal. That's my editing goal for next Saturday. Let's see if I can accomplish that. There won't be any fancy kill all pedo shit where he's got like Adobe After Effects and shit. It's going to be a sloppy, quick gym edit. But I, 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 I'd be remiss if I didn't try. Baked Alaska on all fours on the ground, dripping white liquid from his mouth, meowing like a cat in front of an audience of about 20 guys. <laughs> oh. Oh, you know, I almost feel like this is his way of trying to get a date. You ever, you ever go to a party? When you're younger, college age, let's say. You ever go to a party and there's a chick there, attractive chick, but she's a slut. And she's the type of chick that's there and she's saying shit like, oh my God, I'm so drunk right now. I'm totally so drunk, you guys. Oh my God, I've had three Zimas and I'm just gonna, I get wild when I get drunk. That kind of chick, that's what he's doing right now with me. Oh my, oh my God, you guys, I totally can't see anything right now. My vision's totally gone. Why, you could just stick anything in my mouth and I wouldn't even know what it is. Just calm okay, down, calm down, down. all right? Take a breath. Keep streaming me, son. I'm, I'm streaming. So get someone to stream me. I got it, we I got, got it, it. thanks. Okay, it's so right, right right here, I got okay, it, okay? okay? What is my people saying? Uh, all right. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> <clears throat> wait a minute, wait a minute. When I got, when I got swatted, didn't, wasn't Bake's big criticism of me? How can a man sell hats when you get swatted? Well, here he is, dripping cum from his beard. He can't see out of his eyes. He's been bear-mazed. He's been bear-mazed. And his main priority is, what are my people saying? Please, oh, God, oh, God, I've been assaulted by Antifa, and I've been bear-mazed in my face. What is the chat saying right now? Please read it to me. Our v did he say he's a VIP? Our VIP got hit. Baked is screaming for milk while he's describing him as a VIP. It's a VIP. I'm sorry. He got hit with bear mace. This gathering has been declared to be an unlawful assembly. In the name of the Commonwealth, you are commanded to immediately disperse. This gathering's been declared illegal. On all you faggots sitting on the lawn here jacking off on each other to get the fuck out of the South. Thought you're coming down here to talk about niggers. But all you boys are doing is jacking off on each other, especially that big fat one there. That big fat one with the with a cum all over his face. Get the fuck out of my commonwealth. If you do not disperse immediately, you will be arrested. Hey guys, what's up? Hey you're under arrest for first degree faggotry, son. Put your hands behind you. No, don't do it. You probably like it, you goddamn queer. Don't put the. <laughs> Cletus, don't put the handcuffs on this one. I think it arouses him. Just hit him with a baton. Hit this fat fucking queer with a baton, Cletus. Is that, is that Owen Schroyer? Is he holding multivitamins? What a weird event this was. My God, I, I forgot how weird the entire fucking thing was. Baked Alaska running around with bear mace and cum dripping from his face. Owen Schroyer dressed up as a fucking founder, selling multivitamins to people walking by. The most hardcore neo-Nazi in the world, laughing at everybody playing tuba music as he's just walking through the crowd. What the fuck was this? <laughs> What was what was Richard Spencer thinking when he put this together? Listen, we're all gonna wear we're all gonna wear khakis, and I bought all these tiki torches from the the local uh, IKEA store. Cause nothing says white power like IKEA. 
We're going to go out there and we're going to get bear maced as this BuzzFeed reporter who's pretending to be a white supremacist <laughs> begs for milk on his face. And everybody gather around in a circle, start screaming bro job at him. Bro job, bro job. Oh my God, Baked, you goofy fuck. <laughs> you absolutely goofy fuck. Oh, you know, I want to look at more Baked stuff now. Now that we're, we're on a, we're, we're on a, just a memory lane of Baked Alaska for a minute here, because he's going to prison. So let's, let's honor his memory and have a look at some of the things. Here's what I, okay, this is a good one. This is a good one. Pull this up. This is a clip that Baked wasn't very fond of. One of the A-hogs put it on their Twitter account, then their Twitter got taken down. But now that the A-hog got reinstated because Elon Musk doesn't fucking care as long as you pay him $8, <laughs> the clip is back. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's, uh, have a listen. Hold up. Baked lifts his legs above his head while jerking off because he's into ass play sent $2. Baked lifts his legs above his head while jerking off because he's into ass play and farting. Baked lifts his legs <laughs> above his head while jerking off because he's into ass play and farting. Baked lifts his legs above his head while jerking off. Baked lifts his legs above his head while jerking off because he's under ass play sent $2. Baked lifts his legs above his head. Oh, can you send super chats to prison? Like when he's, it, it, when it's his first day on the cell block and he's trying to keep his head up and act like he's in there for murder so people don't fuck with him. Wouldn't it be awesome if just over the loudspeaker this plays? While jerking off because he's into ass play and farting. Baked lifts his legs above his head while jerking off because he's into ass play and farting. Baked lifts his legs above his head while jerking off. Baked lifts his legs above his head while jerking off because he's into ass play sent $2. Baked lifts his legs. <laughs> just keep, oh, they keep sending it. Here's uh, just infinite $2 donations about him being into ass play and farting. It's going to make, uh, going to make it a difficult day on the cell block, I think, for our boy Baked. It's going to be a little hard. Set of care packages. There's just pictures of him walking into the Hoover building. <laughs> Prisoners are getting phone calls with the uh, baked Alaska. Lifts his legs in the air because he's an ass playing farting. They're going to think he's the weirdest little fucker on the cell block. Uh, now there's another video. Somebody took our favorite little song, our Nick Fuentes song, another one of those A-hogs. In fact, I think it's, it's, it's Baked Alaska's account itself on Twitter did this and put together a Baked Alaska compilation video. I saw this earlier. I think it's a good listen. For the chat, let me let me just pull this up. Uh, Baked Alaska will become the next Goatsy. Boy's got a thick rumper dumper. I think you're right, chat. I think you might be right. Ocean Redux. Merry Christmas, Jimbo. Well, Merry Christmas to you, too. Isn't it nice to be over here where you can say Merry Christmas? Ball of Jester, have you seen all the play-by-play -play from Vicious Vickers talking about Ralph's legal fails? Uh, a little bit. I mean, we can talk about that in a second. But right now, we've got to talk about Baked Alaska lifting his legs in the air because he's in the ass play and farting. <laughs> You know, it's a kind of a preparatory uh, action we can all take because he's going to the big boy prison. Well, not the big boy prison. He's going to little bitch prison, but whatever. Uh, here we go. I've got it. We've got it. Let's take a look. Um, I'll, I'm going to do a moment of silence so we can watch the hot, the greatest hits reel here of Baked Alaska in America first at Cozy.gov. <laughs> oh, and you can tell it's starting off good when it's uh, a bunch of dudes in bed with each other. That's how you know it's a cozy video. There's nothing wrong with being a faggot My name is Alaska and I'm a straight man If you want to take it up the ass then that's okay There's nothing wrong with being a fucking faggot I mean just come out the closet Cause as long as you say no homo it's not gay I would go full on gay for Justin Bieber. He turned his life around, and that's a really attractive trait. I'm sorry, fucking what? I would go full-on gay for Justin Bieber. Uh-oh, faggot alert! God, I wish I had a little alarm bell. I wish that tuba guy was around. Now I know I was playing that song. I'd go full-on gay for Justin Bieber. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, look at that smile. Look at those, he's doing the jazz hands. The Nick Fuentes, he's doing Nick Fuentes hands. Look at them. That's the mating call of a homosexual. <laughs> Don't get mad at me if you're in the audience and you're gay. You fucking know I'm right. This is your mating call. You do this shit with your hands. That's how every straight man on earth can identify you, by the way. Full on gay for Justin Bieber. He turned his life around and that's a really attractive trait to me. 
if the balls don't touch it, if they... No, wait a second. Wait a second, folks. Is that, is that our boy, Baked Alaska? King of the Rumper Dumpers? Mr. Milk in the Face? Mr. Rub My Tummy and I Make Meow Meow Sounds? Sucking on a little dildo? Uh, you know what I love? There's so many things about this picture which are fantastic, by the way. Uh, the first is, look at how sensual he is with that dildo. That's a man that wants to suckle. Okay, he's got his eyes closed. He's lovingly going in on this. I don't think that's the first phallic-shaped object he's had in his fucking face. Let's be honest. That's a that's a caring, caressing kind of thing going on there. Look how he's gripping the balls. I think he's got a little experience. A little, a little first-hand experience. Next, it's, of course, that he set this over the internet to somebody like an idiot. But the real gem, the winner of this, is that it's a tiny dildo. It's a small cock. That's a small little dick that he's sucking. That's a dicklet. He's practicing sucking dicklets. Now, I don't want to say anything about Cozy.gov itself, but, I mean, you know, let's be honest here. Half the streamers on that fucking website are barely five feet tall. So if you had to take a, a wager on how many of them were dicklets, pretty good Vegas odds that most of them are. I mean, we know we know one is in particular. But there's Baked, easing into it. I bet he's got chapstick on. His lips look like they've been lubed up. He's ready for this. He's trimmed his mustache so the hair doesn't get in the way. Don't want to tickle the frellum. He's, get <laughs> he's getting ready to go in. That's okay. Cause there's nothing wrong with being a fucking faggot. He's just so smooth and... Oh, that's probably not something you want to say. What do you like about little Justin Bieber, Baked? He's so smooth. I like my boys smooth. I like them hairless. If I had a... Ch Wait a minute. I'm gonna... I'm... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Let's put it all together. Baked Alaska likes small, hairless, <laughs> small, hairless uh, uh, males. And when he practiced sucking dildos, that's a very small dildo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Beautiful. Well, I know Justin loves to skate, so I'd take him to a skate park. You know, maybe he'd buy me a Slurpee. What in the fuck am I listening to? Hang out. Yes, that's fine with me. <laughs> Milo. What, what the fuck is this look, Milo? My, what are you? What the fuck happened here? Bro, what is this look? <laughs> this looks like a this looks like the character of the the gay hairdresser from a 1990s movie. Milo, what the fuck is this? Is that a leopard print fucking shirt you're wearing? That's a leopard print shirt with a fake tan and the fucking pit viper glasses. Milo, come on. <laughs> what the fuck? There's nothing wrong with being a dick sucking fudge packet faggot. Cause as long as you say no homo, it's not gay. Is it too late now to say fuck me? I want to sing that to you, Justin. <laughs> I want to sing that to you, Justin. I just want Justin Bieber's smooth little boy body and his tiny little dicklet pressed in my face, Justin. Whoa, dude. <laughs> oh, Bates, you're going to have a hard time in prison. It's going to be a rough experience. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a rough experience, Bates. Oh, tragic. Tragic. Uh, ball and Jester again. Also, did you see the mugshot of Sam Brinton? Joe Biden's fake queer in charge of the energy department. Yes, you know, we I, we can take a look at that purse stealing guy. Are you talking about the are you talking about the dude that was in charge of all the nuclear reactor waste or whatever the fuck it was? That went around stealing women's underwear? <laughs> Their luggage and shit? Yeah, I've seen his picture. It's fucking atrocious. Uh, digital devil shit. Love you, Jim. Watch uh, Kiko Man like a real chud. Uh, fuck Chainsaw Man. Oh, getting getting vicious in the chat here. Let me see if I can pull up an article of the nuclear waste tranny that steals women's underwear. <laughs> if I, let me, 
nuclear i'm going to just enter nuclear waste tranny steals women underwear and let's see if any news pops up for that you're not going to fucking believe it you're not going to believe it okay it says no results all right i want you to see what i entered as my search term and who popped up <laughs> this is fucking unreal okay chat look at the very top nuclear waste tranny steals women underwear first news result biden official sam Britton's second alleged theft fucking forbes.com when you enter what 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 are they taking their articles with nuclear waste tranny stealing women's underwear and fucking forbes pops right up we'll do it fuck it give us those clicks for forbes being brave enough to do it we're going to read their story about this we're going to read their story about this right now <laughs> I can't believe fucking Forbes. Uh oh, fact check them. Somebody contact the ADL. Is that appropriate? Can we put that up? Nuclear waste training? Is that is that permissible? Somebody is uh, the chat algorithm. Yes, that's that's what we got going on here. It's the chat algorithm. All right, let's let's read. Oh, this time it was seventeen hundred dollars in jewelry. Okay, all right, let's let's read Forbes and see if nuclear waste tranny pops up anywhere in this article. I'm really curious why Forbes is the one that popped up with that. Top line, the Biden administration has come under fire after Energy Department official Sam Brenton, who identifies as not binary, was charged in two separate instances of stealing suitcases at a U.S. airport with one bag allegedly containing $3,600 in jewelry, clothing, and makeup, as GOP officials blame Biden's wokeness for hiring them. All right, I'll continue reading the article, but I want to put a picture up of the nuclear waste tranny so chat can uh gaze upon its wonder while i read this to you i want you to imagine let me find uh, i was gonna you know what i was gonna say let me find the worst picture but they're all terrible chat they're all fucking terrible chat okay let's do this i it's gonna have to give me a second while i get the picture ready just find one that really captures what the fuck we're talking about here. Nuclear waste tranny. What a great legacy. Okay, I think that'll do. <clears throat> I think this one will do. There we go. There we go. Let's just get that fucking centered so you can't escape it. I don't want chat escaping this. Now, I want you to imagine this. <laughs> that everything this faggot's wearing is stolen. No. I want you to imagine that you're in an airport, and your wife is frantically looking for her luggage. And you see this. You see this thing running away at top speed, which is probably hard in heels, at top speed through the fucking terminal. And that's your wife's bag. And you find out that this motherfucker's in charge of nuclear waste, handpicked by the goddamn president. Stealing your wife's underwear at the fucking airport. Welcome to America. The nuclear waste tranny, or tranny <laughs> Sam Bright. So let's read this article. So it looks like this is a, a little more in-depth, because I'm going to guess they got nailed because the the value amount of what was stolen? We'll see. I'm going to light a cigarette for this. <laughs> a felony arrest warrant was issued for Brighton on grand larceny. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, on Friday, after they were accused of stealing luggage at Harry Reid International Airport in Las Vegas, Nevada. The suitcase included $1,700 worth of jewelry, $850 of clothing, and $500 in makeup. Typical woman. Goes on a fucking trip and brings $500 in makeup. In a tweet on Friday, Senator Tom Cotton called Brighton a delusional fucking faggot that needs to hang from a tree. Wait, no, I don't think Tom Cotton said that. Actually, here's the real quote. Tom Cotton... Uh, uh, speaking about the Brighton incident, said, somebody's got to do something about this nuclear waste tranny. I think it's time we put him in a barrel and kicked him down a hill. I'll glue the fucking lid on the thing. Why don't you all join me? We'll make it a barbecue. Rep. Tory Nails, a Republican from Texas, called on Brighton to be fired and their security clearance revoked immediately. Far-right social media account of Libs of TikTok, which has been accused of spreading... Why? What the fuck is this, Forbes? Okay, how are you going to be the first result for the term nuclear waste tranny, but then try to tag libs of TikTok by saying this, the far right social media account libs of TikTok, which has been accused of spreading anti-LGBTQ conspiracy theories, 
including the debunked furries theory <laughs> that children identify as animals in school, attacked Brighton for wearing women's clothing and engaging in pup play, in addition to stealing luggage. You see, this is an interesting way that the news and journalism will do shit like this. Here we have a real story, and there's no denying the facts of what happened here. We have a delusional tranny that's stealing shit from the airport because he wants to, uh, I don't know, sniff panties? Oh, imagine the smell. I don't know. Maybe maybe it wants to have a real scent of a woman, so it steals, pa you know, like luggage, hoping there's some dirty panties in there so it smells more human-like rather than an infected, festering fucking axe wound? I don't know. So you got the story that's true, and you have accounts that are talking about the true story and the facts of what's happening. But then they have to put this little addendum onto it to make it look like, oh, all the things that they're talking about are fake. Oh, oh they've been accused of spreading fake things. That pup play shit's real. They're, you know, let's find the pup play picture. Uh, Sam Britton pup play. I'm sure that's up there somewhere. Oh, God, Jesus. Jeez, what the fuck is this country doing? Okay. I've got another horror story picture for you as we read this article, chat. Just one, just one moment. Is it downloading? There we go. I probably have been put on a watch list. I hope you fuckers appreciate this. Just even daring to put this in, you know, uh, to download this has probably gotten me put on some kind of a watch list. Probably baked Alaska's fucking uh, uh, cellmate because of this. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, let's let's try to get both on screen because they're both awful. Let me see. How could I do this? There we go. Just uh, move that over a little bit. Good. Good, and let's take the, the, this is a person in charge of making sure you don't die in nuclear hellfire, waste, whatever, I don't know. Getting paid by the government, there you go. Saying, okay, again, they, they make it sound like it's fake, but nope, there it is. Welcome, this is somebody the U.S. government thought, that's a stable hire. A group of House Republicans, including uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Andy Briggs, and Andrew Clyde, all sent a letter Tuesday asking the Energy Department, what the fuck are you thinking? Then it goes on with a key background, really, Forbes? Who, uh, it says, Brighton, who identifies with they, them pronouns. How about arrested uh, and incarcerated are your new pronouns? Uh, and they're the first openly gender-fluid employee. I see. Gender-fluid. <laughs> a lot of fluidity there. Don't put me. It's a spectrum. Britain 34 is set to appear in court on December 19th. Oh, just uh, two days away where they face felony charges from that Minneapolis theft allegation punishable by up to five years in prison and a fine of up to $10,000. I know we got a little off track. We're talking about baked Alaska going to jail, but then, of course, somebody in a super chat brought up our amazing, uh, amazing uh, nuclear waste tranny here. So, yeah, they, uh, they I, I don't know. Are they a kleptomaniac? Is it kleptomania? Are they just trying to steal shit? It's like a kick for them. Some weird sex thing where they steal women's stuff to stiff their dirty panties? I fucking don't know. I don't know. And are those assless chaps? I just noticed it, of course. How is that tail sticking in? Oh, that's a... Uh, now I got questions and I don't like it. I don't like it. But now I've got to investigate. I'm sorry, chat. We need to... We There's something we need to understand here. Like with Baldo, we, this is a blues clue. This is the adult version of Blue's Clues. If that's assless chaps, that's clearly an ass I'm looking at. That means these don't wrap around. How is that tail staying in? Think about it, chat. Take a moment. <laughs> chat, take a moment. If our nuclear waste tranny, if our nuclear waste tranny has got a man in ampless, or assless chaps, and there's a giant tail. That tail's like, I don't know, that's like a foot long. How are they keeping it in? Is that is that a baldo knot? Oh my god, is this fur fag and uh, fuck boy? Are these the two dudes that were like, we love baldo products? Oh, we figured it out. The mystery, oh my god, it's circular. It's poetry. Cyclical. Somebody called up George Lucas. Tell him I have inspiration for his next Star Wars fucking trilogy. He's got to get back from Disney. It's a story of baldo and the ass plug. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, you know, I've seen this picture before, but I'd never noticed assless chaps. I didn't know that was literally shoved in his asshole. Oh, 
Makes you wonder what the other fucking, uh, uh, you know, hires that Biden has are up to. <laughs> oh, fuck. What the fuck? Sorry, we've got some more some more money donations, apparently. Are, are people uh, curious? Are they throwing out guesses here for, <laughs> for what the Uh-oh. Everything's, everything's, why, God, Jesus, help me here. And of course, it's not, like, it's not letting me go. It's, it's, I gotta read the money donations. Uh, for fucking Mother F, I overslept and missed my medical alarm, so I'm late and gay. Well, you showed up just in time. If you're late and gay. <laughs> because we've got uh, people shoving things up their ass. Welcome to the show. Evil Bunny, okay, here's another 25. Glad you're feeling a bit better, Jim. And Bunny Bunny, well, thank you. I think that catches up. Merry Christmas. Oh, Kik Kinikuman is trash, and he's a faggot for recommending it. Chainsaw Man is pure Chad shit. Kill yourself, digital. It's from Ocean Redux. A little bit of an anime fight going on in chat. Boys, boys, let's keep calm here. And remember <laughs> that Baked Alaska is going to jail. And that's funny. Wasn't there a video where he, like, spins around frantically in a parking lot because his Twitter got shut down? I want to watch that. Let me see if I can find that video. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Of course, YouTube's got to be a cunt about shit and make it fucking impossible to find the shit you're looking for. Yeah, I tried parking lot. Maybe that's the key term that I need to fucking pull this up. <laughs> here we go. I got it. Now, a lot of people think that, like, Laura Loomer was the first one. You remember Laura Loomer? Actually, let me put a picture up of this to remind people of what Laura Loomer did. As she chained herself to the fucking doors of Twitter. Before I go into what Bake did. Oh, I, I think there's a better picture of this. Oh my god. Oh, she looked awful in this. Laura, you were going to be a bit of a chunky monkey back then. What's going on here? <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go. Well, we'll take this one, that's fine. Just uh, for a little backstory before we get into the bake spinning in a parking lot screaming about Twitter. Uh, you know, in honor of him going to big boy jail. Call this Laura. Pull this picture up. <laughs> I've got a. I need to erase, by the way, uh, this shit. This fucking, this fucking guy with the ass plug. Okay, there we go. There's, there's Laura. There we are. So, a lot of people think Laura Loomer was the first person uh, to do stupid shit when they lost their Twitter account. I was a look at the sign. Twitter? Jew hatred? Question mark? A-OK. -okay. Nosy Jew? Question mark? Banned. It's a Star David slap right on her tit. A very, just awful outfit altogether. Just, you shouldn't be fat and pale wearing pure black with a, it's like a, it's a Ringo haircut. I'd say it's a Beatles haircut she's rocking there. But she lost her Twitter account and chained herself to the door. Uh, singular, by the way. There are two doors there, so people just went in the other door. <laughs> they just walked on by her. She was, she was chained to one door. Chained herself to, probably should have thought that through a little more. Chained herself to one door. Uh, but I'm going to say, I'm going to call it right now, Baked Alaska. Beat her to it. Okay. Uh, now, he didn't chain himself to a door, uh, but he did stream himself lamenting the loss of <laughs> His Twitter account as he spun in circles and uh, asked random strangers uh, if they, if they uh, you know, sympathized with the tragedy of him not being able to shitpost on Twitter. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, the video is called, Are You There, God? It's Me Baked. Here we are. There's a absolutely nothing. No reason why I got suspended. I, I just woke up. My Twitter account doesn't work. It says you're permanently suspended, even though I'm verified, even though I have 200,000 followers, even though I didn't break any rules. I, I love, uh, this is why I always remember this video, is I love that they put this in. This is the whole thing that makes the video for me. Is that they've got a fucking, G <laughs> they fucking use the Google map to follow him so you can understand what he's doing right now. Even though I have 200,000 followers, even though I didn't break any rules, I've been doing my best to like, follow the rules and I have been following the rules I've been like literally doing nothing wrong I've been playing Mario and reading Bible verses 
Bye bye. It doesn't make any sense, bro. I got banned from Twitter, and I, I, I believe it's because I'm a conservative. I support Donald Trump. I support the president. I think it's kind of fucked up. What do you think? I don't know, bro. I saw this video of you sucking dildos, talking about fucking Justin Bieber. So I don't know how conservative you really are. I mean, I am familiar with you. Aren't you the guy that got blasted in the face with a bro job up in Charlottesville? Duh. I gotta hold my nose here for a second. It's a subtle hint that I'm calling you a kike. Uh, yeah, they're banning free speech for sure. But you gotta remember, Twitter is private, right? It's a private company. They can do what they want to do, way. No. <laughs> Walks up to a random dude and he's like, uh, you know, hey man, I, it's it's tragic. I got banned from Twitter, and he's he this guy gives so little of a fuck. He's like, look at me, asshole. My hands are dirty. I work a job, and you're coming up to me. I'm trying to eat a fucking hamburger. Yeah, they can do whatever they want. Yeah, it's real tragic you lost your Twitter. Fuck out of my face. They want to do way. <laughs> like so fucking mad. No reason. What? Why don't you just give me a reason? Why don't you just make up some bullshit reason and tell me that's why you suspended me? Why don't you just do that? I'm really heartbroken right now. Like Twitter, Twitter was my main shit. Like 200,000 followers. I've been... Oh, we've got, we have some old Jews yet? Uh, Mia, this is from Baked Alaska, original Twitter, back on 2016. Uh, Mia, upon research, I noticed Jewish people run 95% of American media. That is very interesting. Internet, why do you want to gas the Jews? Oh, baked out there, living that hardcore Holocaust life. It's like my baby working on, like, and I've been so good, like, ever since they, they gave me a minor suspension before, like, I've been an angel. I, I, I am, I'm completely pissed off. I'm completely confused. Nice to meet you. How are you, you is that, is that fucking Nick Fuentes? Wait a minute, is that, is that fucking, Chad, is that actually Nick Fuentes? I can't tell. This would have been 2016. He would have been, what, 12 years old? I think that's, I think that's, I think that's fucking Nick Fuentes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need to compare some pictures here. I need a recent picture of Nick to compare if that is Nick Fuentes. Hold on. One second. One second. One second. Okay, I've got a recent picture here. Is that, is that Nick? Well, there's a slight difference. Um, hmm. Okay, let's see. I mean, the features are the same, but I'm noticing there's something different. About current Nick and old Nick. Something different here. Well, I'll try to put my finger on it. And my finger is touching something jiggly. Hmm. Let me think here. I'd say it's about a hundred pound difference. Can't quite. It's on the tip of my tongue like a Happy Meal. Let me find another picture. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think the nose is similar. Chat, what do you think? Is the nose similar? I, th I think... I think we've discovered some hidden lore we didn't know about. <laughs> oh. Ay, ay, ay. Dalton, I don't know what's going on. Dalton's wife keeps feeding me tacos. I get so big. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. This is... Donde is Dalton's wife? She feed me the tacos. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Is that Nick Fuentes? Maybe, maybe not. It's hard to tell. There's a slight difference the last couple of years. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's move it on, chat. Nice to meet you. How are you, you having a good day? So why, why do you think people are getting so mad? I don't know. Why are we yelling? We're only this. I'm not yelling. We're this close. You're yelling. We're this you listen to me, you faggot little zoomer. I'm gonna fucking shove my cane up your ass. Twitter, I don't fucking I care about twats. Look at me, boy. I care about twats, not Twitter. Maybe that's why you're such a fucking faggot. This close. You, you, wanna, you wanna meet us over there at the table? No? No, thank you. Get the word out. Start tweeting at Twitter support. Start tweeting at Jack. Start tweeting. Tweet, tweet at your big influencers. What do you think I should do? Ma'am, I got my Twitter suspended. <laughs> Just walking around a parking lot asking random people shit. What you, please, tell me what to do. I've lost my precious Twitter. What do you think I should do? How do I get unsuspended? 
Stop censoring conservatives. I support America. I support all Americans. I love this country. I support the <laughs> military. I support our veterans. I support our cops. I stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. He stands for the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> oh. Goofy. Goofy, silly fun. Spinning around in a parking lot, asking people that are in the middle of their work day, how out of touch are you? Holy fuck. You're walking around. These people are trying to eat lunch because they have to fucking work. They got like 20 minutes, man. Blue collar, white collar, whatever. They're rushing against traffic and shit. Trying to grab whatever fucking goy slop meal they can shove down their gullet to get back into the wage cage. And here your fat dumper ass is. Running up to them, wasting the precious fucking time they got. They only got, they got five minutes to shovel it down. Talking about Twitter. God, I would be pissed. I would be, I would be, I remember... Fight, God, fuck. Office work sucks. Fighting fucking traffic to go to some fast food fucking place to sit in line to grab your shit to eat it quick and then get back. I'm just trying to imagine some dude spinning around like a pirouetting fucking ballerina in the parking lot. Screaming that he lost his Twitter account and how that's unfair. I, I would have thrown something at your head. That old man looked like he was ready to beat you with his cane. <laughs> Nobody gave a shit. Not a single person. I think that's a, the video is really good too, kind of highlighting the disconnect between the uh, you know online reality and real life. <laughs> Here you got a dude spinning around screaming about Twitter. Nobody cares. Not a single person gave a shit. Somebody in chat. Factual office work is a slow death. It is. I think I think pretty much fucking everyone would agree with that. I think everyone would agree with that. It looks like another donation came in, but I, uh, for whatever reason, uh, uh, Odyssey is being difficult. All right, now there was a Sam Britton one. We saw that. People arguing about anime. Saw that. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Oh. Okay, I'll have to refresh it later. I will catch up with what I've missed. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Chad, if you can think of any good... Yeah, God, I, I'm enjoying myself watching the baked shit. We will get to the Murdoch Murdoch stuff. Don't worry about it. But you can think of any good baked Alaska videos that we should be watching. Does anybody know the title of the one where he did the about face? Remember after Charlottesville and after he turned on his audience? He did like this uh, three or four minute video where he, den he denounced and disavowed everything on the right. So it's like baked Alaska is weird. So you have BuzzFeed Alaska, who wants to suck Justin Bieber's dick and suck on dildos. Then you got Alt-Right Alaska, who's getting bear-maced and cummed on at fucking uh, events. Then you got Twirling in the Parking Lot Alaska, who's kind of apolitical, really. You know, he's just upset. He lost his shit. But then he did the Disavowal video, which I'm, I'm sure is up on BitChute, but I can't remember the fucking name of it. Because that would be funny. Somebody said there's a hot tub video? Uh, is that from one of his tickle fights? Is that what we're looking at? Is that a tickle fight baked Alaska video? Why I left the alt-right. Maybe that's the name of it. Okay. Oh, it's going to be one of these, isn't it? Hold on. Oh, somebody can find that. That would be great. There are, there are a bunch of baked Alaska clips up here. Maybe I can find the hot tub one that they're talking about. Oh, we've seen the Capitol video stuff. That's not really interesting. Oh, I found it. It was titled Baked Alaska on the New Zealand Shooter. Oh, that's right. That made it extra slimy. Not only did he disavow everything on the right, he waited for uh, the shooting to try to make it <laughs> to try to make it like it was an even bigger deal. Okay. All right, I found it. From Funky Motherfucker for 50. It's a, it's a big dollar donation. Have you ever had Paul Mall 100 Reds? Have I ever had Paul Mall 100 Reds? No, I have not. I've smoked a lot of stuff. I've smoked Eve Ultralight 120s. Good luck finding those ever again. They're like four feet long. They're four feet long. You look ridiculous smoking them. But not Paul Mall 100 Reds, no. All right, let's see. I've got the baked... Okay, good. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm taking a moment to try to find the hot tub video. Oh, we got 0.15 oodles from Basat, total faggot nigger kike death. 
Have I ever smoked petrol all the time? <laughs> Swisher sweets. Nobody actually smokes Swisher sweets. They they rip them open and then roll joints with them. That's what they exist for. Um. Okay. Chat. Anybody? Let me see if I can find. Somebody has a supercut. Is this a supercut of him in a hot tub? Got oh, a supercut of baked Alaska. Yeah, we'll put that up. Get that queued up. Let's get a few queued up here. Have a little bit of a baked Alaska morning. Oh, is it on Odyssey? Okay, somebody's saying it's on Odyssey. Let's let's take a look. I I am slightly curious exactly what it would be. A baked Alaska hot tub. Let's see what shows up. <laughs> I I'm looking. Just just give me a second here. Here, uh, one second, chat. Oh, maybe it's got to be two words. I did hot tub as one word. Maybe that's my that's my fault. Let me try two words here. Let's try that. Oh, awesome! Uh, a, a great title, by the way. Nazi baked Alaska in hot tub with racist grapers. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is this? Baked Alaska asking his friends to pull out their dicks? What the fuck? What the fuck am I looking at? Uh, Five dollars from Toxic Foxy. Uh, dude, Jim is woke on swisher knowledge. I think everybody's woke on that. Let's be honest here. Everybody understands what they exist for. <laughs> Why they're sold. Oh, I'm an old man, but I still know some things, okay? All right, we got a few things queued up. We got Baked Alaska turning on the alt-right, Baked Alaska asking boys to get their dicks out, <laughs> and Baked Alaska supercut. Let's, it's a celebration. We're celebrating the, the memory of Baked Alaska before he goes to big boy prison. Now, if I had, a, if I had a, like a music remix of We Love Our Cops, I'd play that for the break music because we're at the one-hour mark, so we'll take a small break. But I don't think, I don't think there's any... There are any remixes of his fucking horrible music. Somebody did a piano cover of Baked Alaska, We Love Our Cops. I don't why would they ever do that? Wait, oh, didn't he have a second one too that was even worse? There's so many bad Baked Alaska songs because he wanted to go into music. There's a live performance. <laughs> oh. I also like how when you enter the search term Baked Alaska, we love our cops. One of the results is from Inside Edition that is incel attacking women with pepper spray. <laughs> it just shows some mason up in the face. Oh. Sometimes I wonder if uh, they're having a little bit of a laugh with uh, some of these search results. It's either Baked Alaska the Confection or Baked Alaska Insult Rage spra pepper spraying people. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Let me get that queued up, too. Let's do a... Let's see if we got, like, a pepper spray compilation of him uh, just macing the shit out of people. Ah, Mr. Alaska's content spray. Okay. All right. Whatever. That's fine. We'll just play a tried and true. We'll just go with our, our boy. We'll go with our boy. While we wait, let me put up a, oh, oh, where is it here? Where is our little break thing? There we go. Put up a. Saw somebody in chat saying they miss being part of the uh, conspiracy theory community. It is fun. I will, I will grant you that. It's a, it's a barrel of fun. There's some crazy shit out there. In fact, I, I was going to do an entire stream dedicated to crazy conspiracy theories. Because uh, they're so fucking entertaining. I mean, he used to do, like, a video series, uh, The X-Files, which was semi-kind of related to that. Because uh, it's just, it's a good time. I love talking about the lizard people. <laughs> Being gang-stalked by the lizard people. Okay. Don't let me cock-tease you now. We need to get, we need to, what's this about dicks in a hot tub here? All right? The only, the only, the only, I'm only pulling my dick out for Declan. Okay, that man needs a typewriter. So let's see what this uh, video is about. The title, by the way, it's up on Odyssey. Put up just uh, earlier this month. Baked Alaska in the hot tub, asking people to pull their dicks out. So let's uh, <laughs> let's give it a listen. 
and see what's going on. One, two, three, four, <laughs> four five, five, six. six. We got a whole pack of hot dogs here. Yeah. Fucking dogs, That's baby. Right. We just need the All buns right. now. All right, everyone pull your dicks out. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, sorry. That's not what we're doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no? We're not doing that? <laughs> yeah, let's replay One, that. two, three. <laughs> let's, let's, oh, let's slowly go over this for a moment. Chat. Let's just take a minute. Let's take a minute. Let's take a minute. Just, uh, just uh, take it all in. Four, Four five, five, six. We got a whole pack of hot dogs here. Yeah. Fucking dogs, That's baby. Right. We just need the all buns right. now. All right, everyone pull your dicks out. What? <laughs> what? What did you fucking say, buddy? Buddy, what did you just say to me? What? Oh, sorry. Look at the smile on his face. I almost got the guys to expose it. Oh, I almost got them to take it out. That's not what we're doing? <laughs> okay. Oh, this, this needed to be included in that video. <laughs> it was up on up on Twitter. This this clip needed to be included in that with the dildo and the I'd fuck Justin Bieber and dressing like a lumberjack and I'd go gay for this and that. What's going on, big guy? I was unaware of the hot tub video. Thanks. That was from <laughs> Nazi leader. <laughs> Nazi leader and his racist goypers whipping their cocks out for each other. It's very Tradcath. Uh, chat, you're right. You're correct. This is the Tradcath lifestyle that the goypers promote. This is what you do before you go to church, before you go to, uh, you know, to mass. Pull your dicks out with the boys. You get drunk in the hot tub, pull your cocks out, and you go pray. <laughs> Uh, the only beads this dude's into are anal, not rosary. Okay? I'm just saying. Now let's take a look at that I disavow everybody video. <laughs> Why not say history of baked Alaska? A little uh, trip down memory lane this morning. So you get that queued up. Extremely Catholic, yes. Extremely. All right, here we go. Here's the video. Baked Alaska on the New Zealand shooter. I think this is the one I'm thinking of. Oh, do you remember it, chat? Do you remember the age and the era of the optic cuck? Here's Baked Alaska. Boy, this seems a lot different than what they're doing now with based Kanye and little little knickers, little nignat knickers out there talking about how much he loves Hitler and the Jews, or uh, Hitler and the Holocaust and hates those Jews. And here's Baked Alaska, a very right-wing extremist, very right-wing. Is the audio not working? How's the audio not working? All right, one second, chat. Technical difficulties. Terrible. Horrible. Technical difficulties. The ADL, the ADL got me, boys. Bakes Handler's here. Oh, my God. Bakes Handler's knocking on the door. He said I made too many jokes about sucking dick. Oh, fuck. Where's my shotgun? They're not going to take me alive, boys. It's not, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's getting shut down. The ADL, oh my God, there, everybody's here. I think that's Baked Alaska He's spinning in my driveway right now, asking my neighbors about his Twitter account. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's over, boys. It's over. Shut it the fuck down. It's over, boys. Okay. <laughs> okay. I forgot to click the button. I could. Ah, oh, boomer moment. Hey, guys, what's going on? Baked Alaska here. I Are you happy, chat? Are you happy? The, see, the audio is kicking on. Did you hear that? I think we're good to go. Now you have to suffer through what's clearly a gay man's voice. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey guys. Baked Alaska here. I wanted to talk to you guys about something a little more serious today. Today I want to talk to you guys about the New Zealand shooting. 
It's a little late to talk about, but I feel like better late than never. A lot of people are talking about whether the shooter was left wing or right wing, and I just found that really strange because to me, all the signs are there that this guy is clearly a right wing extremist. He had a black son, which is a white Ah, uh, you know, you'd think I'd be focused on his words, but I'm more interested in the eyebrows. Why? <laughs> Why is Baked Alaska plucking his eyebrows like a Latina girl? Why? Are you getting ready? What is it? A quinceanera? What is that thing that little, little Mexican girls do? Is he prettying himself up for that? I'm pretty sure he's removed his eyebrows and has, has tattooed them back on. This is something I've only seen, only seen teenage Latina girls do. What the fuck is this? What? <laughs> this is so beyond metrosexual and gay. He's, he's literally become a teenaged Latina girl wing extremist. He had a black sun, which is a white supremacist symbol on the front of his military vest. I mean, I think it was clear as day. This guy was saying things like the 14 words and going on 8chan, 4chan, all the right wing sites, not to mention he used very similar lingo as Richard Spencer. <laughs> I love, they use a picture of Richard Spencer. He looks like he took a shit. Richard Spencer, it looks like his eyes are rolling up into the top of, his eyebrows have receded down and are covering his eyes. He's probably a look of disgust because he just watched Baked Alaska suck a dildo. Who we've been calling far right for many years. So why is it now the right wing is trying to make this guy left? Now I can understand why the right wing is trying to use these optics, but it's not truthful. If you guys don't know, I recently left the alt-right, and I feel like it's my responsibility and duty to give a more honest take on the situation. Oh, oh, we're going to get some honesty, you guys. We're going to get some honesty from Baked Alaska. He just left the alt-right, you guys. Those right-wing extremists. This is the guy right now on Cozy.gov. Uh, Dick riding Kanye and Nick, talking about the Jews and the Holocaust and loving Hitler. And just a few years ago, when the heat got a little bit too intense for him, starts uh, manicuring and, uh, you know, getting himself looking like a little Latina girl. And talking about uh, the little, he, I, I don't know, is he faking the lisp? I hear a lisp. Now, either that's the shitty quality of my Logitech headphones, which it could be. Or this is his natural dick-sucking voice that's coming through. Now, a lot of conservative pundits have talked about gun control, immigration, or have plainly just made it about themselves. But there's something about the situation we can't overlook. And that's that this shooting was highly influenced by internet online meme culture. And oh, oi vey, the meme culture, boys. So this is Bank Alaska saying that violence is inspired from meme culture. Fa fast forward two years, and he's using meme culture to talk about the Jews and how much he loves Hitler. So... Is, is Baked Alaska, is he knowingly trying, oh my god, Baked Alaska boys, he's trying to get the Jews killed. He's admitted it. It's been a, it's been a five year long op. <laughs> oh, he wrote a fucking book about memes, by the way. So this dude, who again, tries to pass himself off as honest, not honest about anything. BuzzFeed reporter, right wing, then left wing, then neutral, then back to, uh, then he becomes an irony bro. And then he becomes right wing again. It's wherever the money is. Has he ever even set foot in a church other than to have his priests help him run a money scam? <laughs> like, what, what the fuck? And I know because I've been sucked into that same culture. I regret ever contributing anything to that culture, but I'm not going to pretend like this shooting is something that it wasn't. And while I didn't directly influence the shooter, we have to recognize... Why I didn't directly influence the shooter? I did send him some ammo. With a little note that said, kill him for me, sincerely baked Alaska. Recognize what sort of meme culture did influence him. It was so obvious that this guy was radicalized by the alt-right and became a right-wing extremist. Everything he does is the 101 playbook for right-wing extremists. And I know because I've hung around these guys in the past. Oh, did you? Oh, you know what the playbook for right-wing extremists is? Oh, please tell me he has, let, I hope he lists it. He had the 14 words on his rifle. He put his manifesto on 8chan full of memes and edgy posting. And I know exactly what this is. I'm calling it out for what it is. This guy was a white supremacist. He was all right. He was a right-wing extremist and he killed a ton of innocent people, which is tragically wrong. And I'm gonna call it for what it is. I also think 
I see people on the right wing diverting attention and saying, oh, well, what about the Christians getting killed here? What about these people getting killed here? And while those are tragedies as well, we need to focus on these victims right now and call this a... Oh, okay. So the New Zealand, okay. So our devout Catholic here cares more about dead Muslims than dead Christians. You heard it here first, folk. That's that's Bake's priority. <laughs> oh, I love watching the old shit and hearing him say, God, there was some goofy shit he used to say. And just comparing it to the shit he says now to sell to sell his audience on the bullshit he's peddling. Pack what it was and, and find ways how we can de-radicalize people and get people to not act out in these violent ways when they were starting out just doing memes and having fun and it turned into something extremely hateful. And I feel called to do something. Okay, so again, just to remind you, this guy said, oh, the memes are making people violent. That's terrible. We need to keep things playful. And then he went around spraying people in the face with pepper spray. That were just doing their fucking jobs. Just going up to random people and pepper spraying them. Acting out violence for the memes. About this. The thing is, this person probably started out just saying jokes and doing memes online, but it escalated and these jokes became his reality. Next thing you know, he's posting an actual manifesto on 8chan saying he's gonna kill a bunch of people, and there's a bunch of other right wing people cheering him on still to this day. We need to start calling this out for what it is. White supremacy, racism, and an extremist illusion of reality. It's okay to make funny jokes. It's okay to make funny memes. And yes, subscribe to PewDiePie. But we need to start educating people the difference between internet culture and reality before things go way out of hand like they did in New Zealand. A huge reason I left the all right is because these jokes started to distort my reality and I bought into a lot of bad ideas that I had no idea I was even thinking myself. In a weird, crazy way, I was brainwashed. I was part of a cult. And I just... Oh, the irony. The irony, the irony, the irony. Part of a cult? Oh, you were brainwashed into a cult. Huh. Hmm. Hmm, let me put on my thinking hat for a second here. Baked? So you're telling me the memes brainwashed you into a cult, huh? Oh, it's a good thing that'll never happen again. It's a good thing you're not going to ever get involved with a cult again. It's got weird gay rituals or something. But no, no, the memes got you invested in a cult. But he's a smart boy. <laughs> he's a smart boy. He knows, how to, he knows how to avoid those cults now, guys. Chat. No, so he knows how to avoid them cults. I just want to stop people from making the same mistakes before it's too late. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about this topic in the comments below. And if any of you have been personally affected by online extremism, I would love to help anyone get out of this terrible mindset because I know how poorly it's affected me and I really do care. So thank you guys for listening. God bless and good night. Oh, God bless and good night. Thank you, Baked, for that heartwarming message. You sell out fuck. <laughs> Remember, this is a guy that everybody said, no, he'd never sell people out to the feds. This nigger was selling people out and the feds weren't even after. He wasn't even involved with the New Zealand shooting. He had nothing to do with it. He's throwing motherfuckers out of the bus. <laughs> he was asking them to lay down so he could drive over them. Just on some random internet shit. But no, no, what his ass is on the line for federal prison, for J6, no, he's not going to sell anybody out. It's just mysterious coincidence. That a ton of people, a ton of gripers, all got mass arrested. <laughs> it's a coincidence that his lawyer told the, told the court that his footage was instrumental in identifying and arresting people. His footage specifically was instrumental. Just a coincidence the feds uh, were calling up people and talking to them like Milianopolis and Bank Alaska before the events. All a big fucking coincidence. He's out of that cult now. The memes did it. The evil memes. <laughs> Hurtful. Yeah, that's right, chat. Garbage Gamer 9000. Uh, remember, guys, Christ is king. It's all right out in the open, says Joshua Roberts. That is true. That is very... 17 of them. I think my count stopped it. There's a group of six. Okay, so I mean, if you start at Latino Zoomer, I'm just going to I'm just gonna attribute him to Baked. So that'd be one. I had a running tally, but I, I hit like 10 or 11. But I wouldn't be surprised if we're up to 17. I wouldn't doubt it. 
Why not? Why not? You know, it's just, he's probably just doing it for funsies now. He's not even getting a good time for it. He's just doing it for fun. Oh. Just throwing them under the bus. Throwing motherfuckers under that bus like it's nothing. Just uh, hucking them under there. From Darby, was this when Baked and Beardson tried to join Brent to before jumping on Nick's grift? Um, this would have been, let me see what the date on this is. Uh, this was first published, this is on BitChute, right? But March 22nd, 2019. So if that lines up time-wise with what you're thinking of, yes. But I'm unfamiliar with that lore. So I, I guess I'm not 100% on the ball on this. <laughs> but wow. Yeah, just kind of going over the videos, looking at clips and stuff people have put up in compilations. Uh, you come to a few conclusions. One, Baked is very gay. Uh, two, he wants to look like a little Latina girl. Uh, three, <laughs> he, uh, he changed, he's, he's a snake. He changes skins all the time. I love the memes got me into a cult, but not again, boys. Never going to happen again. And then we got prison time coming up for all the shit. He's seriously getting all these great deals as uh, gripers and other people related to AF get uh, set up the river. Set up the river. Baked fed Laska, rat Laska. Lots of different names. Okay, I don't know what this compilation is, but there's a compilation up here. Let's take a look and see what, what footage we have. Do we have any good footage? I mean, I, I think it's actually stuff we've already looked at. We got the milk thing in here, I see. We've got... <laughs> we've got him spinning in the fucking parking lot like a retard. Oh, where would I find Baked Alaska pepper spraying people? Oh, meth hands. Uh, yeah, that's I forgot about meth hand jobs. That's right. His sister or whatever the fuck it was talking about him. And I think I think they said Milo, but maybe they meant somebody else. I'm not 100 percent certain. There's a sex tape out there. Jesus, there's a sex tape, allegedly. Oh, from Garbage Gamer 9000. I'll be sure to send Bake some four out of five hats and pudding sweaters to keep him warm while Buddha punks him. I don't know what he's going to do in the big boy house. Again, he's not going to Leavenworth. We're not we're not sending Baked Alaska to the hot house. He's going to Club Fed. Probably play tennis and eat... I don't know. <laughs> what would he eat at Club Fed? Really well, I'm sure. Probably better shit than he's eating right now. An actual nutritious meal by a, a Michelin star chef. Probably want to stay. Be like, fuck, let me sell out more people. The food here is really good. Bake's going to go in. He's going to come out looking like Fat Fuentes. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be twins. Baked. You want? <laughs> I don't. What voice do you think Fat Fuentes has? I can't. I'm trying to think in my head. What would that sound like? As his metabolism disappears, <laughs> as he can't, he can't, he can't make the food digest like it used to when he was young. He's getting to be a big boy. He's gonna be running that podcast. I just like they just keep making him fatter. Just keep making him fatter and fatter. Just not that one pit where he's getting a little chunky. Cause this, are we seeing the future? Will this be 2025, 2026? Maybe. Him and Baker are going to look like twins. It's a nice little bookend. I mean, we saw that Twitter video. That was, that was, that had to be Nick. Standing outside, twirling in a parking lot. They'll do the same thing once he gets out of the prison. Start twirling around with each other. Cracking concrete under their hoofs. <laughs> Oh, boy. Some big boys. Big boys doing big things. Okay. I think we've, we've gone through so much baked Alaska shit. I don't know if there's more. If there's... If there's I, we can watch... This isn't related to baked Alaska, but it keeps popping up every time I look baked Alaska up. It's just incel attacking women with pepper spray. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what it's about, but shit, I want to watch it. I kind of want to watch it. Who? I just kind of want to watch incels spraying people for no fucking reason. Oh. Uh, from Bunny Evil Bunny. Okay, don't take this as me liking the Baked Alaska faggot stuff, but here's 50, Jim, because I'm glad you're streaming. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I think we all we all, we all, all just really appreciate a good uh, Chunky Monkey Fuentes and Baked twirling around like a little ballerina <laughs> with his Latina eyebrows. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. Let me let me pull this up. I just I I don't know. Maybe it's shit. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But 
<laughs> Did this guy just spray people in the face for no reason? Let's take a look. Uh, this is incel. See, look, baked Alaska pepper spray. And this this is a result. Incel is attacking women with pepper spray cops. All right, let's take, let's take. Who would do such a thing? A man walks up to unsuspecting women and terrorizes them with shouts of insults and much worse. When they ask him to go away, he does the unthinkable, pepper spraying them right in the face. The brazen suspect is identified as Johnny Young. <laughs> just, he fucking just full candor, didn't he? Right in the face. Oh, do you remember the BLM riots? Um... Oh my god, this no, this would have been justice for Jamar, I think. This would have been Minneapolis, this would have been earlier than them. I or maybe it was Chicago. Fuck, there's so many riots over the last four years. But there's one of a black dude where he walks up to a line of cops and he's like, uh, what he's like screaming like, Get me, motherfucker, test me. And the cop just it's like it's like a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon. He's got like a fire extinguisher full of pepper spray. And he just full on blasts the motherfucker right in his face. That's what this dude is doing. That's the same fucking thing. Right in the face. The brazen suspect is identified as Johnny Young. He's 25, and police say he is a self-described woman-hating incel. The most recent attacks happened here in the upscale community of Costa Mesa, California. Okay, is that the end of it? Are there, are there, more, are there more incel attacks? Oh, there are. Let's take a look. Her first name was assaulted in this video post was assaulted who only wants us to use her first name was assaulted I like how she can't even get the full what the fuck out before he just unloaded in this video posted by young when this guy walked up to you I mean he, he he got more and more vulgar yes and his voice was very scary I want to when she was pepper sprayed she punched him in the face and bloodied his nose in a Oh, she got, he got fucked up. Another attack, Jessica Estrada raced after Young when he started harassing her girlfriends. Could you tell he was videotaping you? No, we didn't know at all. After she was pepper sprayed, she bravely fought back. I threw my phone at him and I hit him. Police say that Johnny Young lives out of this white van. <laughs> Dude's living in a van pepper spraying random women. Oh, he's getting his ass kicked too. Wow. <clears throat> Not really a great advertisement for pepper spray. <laughs> Not really a great advertisement for pepper spray if after you pepper spray somebody, they kick the shit out of you. I thought it was supposed to deter beatings, but you're getting beat anyway. That's like the opposite of what the fucking label said. I was assured, I was assured that this would, uh, <laughs> that this would stop violence, but I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, we got, uh, Heil Hockler. Found the video I'm thinking of. Let me pull this one up. <laughs> does it have the whole thing on it? Oh my god, it does. It does. This is fantastic. Thank you, Hi Hockler. Oh, this is what that video reminded me of. This dude just it's comical the amount of pepper spray he got hit with. Oh, I love it. Nice one source of audio. Arrest! Okay. Arrest! Okay, so he's this dude is ready to rock. Look at him. He is ready to throw down with the cops. Arrest me, motherfucker! Arrest me! He's, he's all... He is ready for violence. <laughs> he's ready for a throwdown. Watch how quickly that changes. I'm right here! Hey! Hey! That's just... Oh, when keeping it real goes wrong. Hey! He's very upset. He's going to be more upset when this happens. Wow, he was full of piss and vinegar. Look at him, ready to throw down in the span of two seconds. <laughs> you could tell he knew he fucked up. And then they just drag his ass to the ground. Going down. Oh my god, I remember watching I laughed so hard when I saw that. Oh, there's nothing funnier. He was so he was so tough. He was so ready to go. This guy was so ready to go. <laughs> they hit him once and you could just tell. He was like, I have fucked up spec I I have made a mistake. <laughs> I chose the wrong fucking direction to take this shit. I think these cops aren't fucking around today. I, th I think these officers might not be in the mood for my shenanigans.
I might have made a critical error here in uh, underestimating the police force and their uh, willingness to use comically large fire hydrant or fire extinguisher sized mace cans on me. And I think I, I think I might have fucked up just a tiny bit. Whoops. Whoopsie. Oh, my God. That was fucking... Some of those protests, man, they had some of the funniest fucking moments. I don't know if you guys remember Twerking for Justice. That was great. They literally brought out a mobile fucking uh, sound mobile. <laughs> and started... They're like, this guy... Oh, my... Guys, these white cops are killing innocent black people. It's so tragic. Okay, drop the beat. And then they start twerking in the streets. Having a barbecue... Oh, it's so tragic. People died. Twerk, twerk, twerk. <laughs> this is before the BLM stuff. They really hadn't got, like, the formula down yet. So they're just testing shit out, testing the waters to see how it goes. That Justice for Jamar shit was, uh, was great. It was good stuff. But that's right. Can I, can I, if I look up twerking for justice, will that, can I find a clip of it, I wonder? Would it still be available online? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Twerking for justice, uh, Minneapolis. Because it, of course, why wouldn't it be Minneapolis? Why am I getting, of course, there's 48,000 TikTok videos. God, YouTube, you're fucking awful. Okay, let me let me try bit shoot. Maybe bit shoot. I just want to see the clip of them twerking for justice. That's all I want. But you got to be dicks about it. Let's let's try twerking for justice, Minneapolis. Such an obscure term. Maybe I'm not going to find it. Uh, yes, Fallen Angel. I mean, I was watching that shit live. Yeah, I did streams about it. I did streams about it. Watching it. There, there were. I'd say maybe eight, maybe nine riot streams I did. The Minneapolis ones, there's one up in Chicago, there's one out in California. I mean, they were popping off all over the place. And again, it was all before the BLM stuff, before it was uh, more organized and financed and, uh, uh, you know, uh, structured. <laughs> With their fucking autonomous zones. But that was more Portland, I think. Portland and Seattle were the ones, the goofy fuckers that did the autonomous zones. That ended with people, <laughs> ended with people getting shot and robbed and raped. Oh, here we go. What do we, what do we got here? Are we gonna look at some riot shit? Somebody's got a link. Uh, protester Pepper bald in his nuts at 19 seconds. Is it comical? Does he scream? What is this? Protester hitting groin with Pepper ball challenge. Uh, <laughs> speaks about uh, challenge coin the fuck is this being shot in the groin with okay okay hold on let me just it's a news report but it's got footage of it let's take a look let's see let's see how hard he gets hit in the balls challenge coin according to the associated press one side of the coin shows a man being shot in the groin with the date of a protest in august 2017 <laughs> oh fuck oh that probably hurt that's a direct hit Let's, let's take a watch that again. With the date of a protest. Boom, right in the nuts. In August 2017 on the other side. Now, you may remember this night. Here's some video that Arizona's family got on. <laughs> God, damn. he went straight fucking down. The ground there. It was out. He actually does a little jiggle. It's almost like he's pre-seizure. Did you see that? I wonder if one of his testicles actually exploded because he's he almost ceases up for a minute. Outside a rally for then right there, right there. President Donald Trump at the Phoenix Convention Center. Police used tear gas to disperse the crowd. I don't know what the challenge. I don't even know whose side he's on. All I know is getting blasted in the nuts with a pepper ball is going to hurt like a motherfucker. Oof. I don't think he's going to be having kids anytime soon. I'm just going to say that. Oh, fuck. What was the, what was the, uh, know the law of the land guy? Oh, God. See, there's so many. I wish I had done like a super cut of all the protests, just goofy moments from them. Uh, just, just like a, a, a super cut compilation video of those 10 or 12 protests. Because you've got getting, you know, it's stuff like the ball stuff, but just Antifa getting fucked up or twerking for justice, pepper sprayed. 
uh, no, the law of the land. I still remember that dude. <laughs> Screaming woke shit at people was great. The autonomous zone. Yep, yep. The autonomous zone. Where they're all getting fucked up. <laughs> Pope said stand up. Yes, exactly. Uh, Leland. You can't forget Leland from the riot streams, who I think is dead now. They sent him to his fucking death. Oh, $100 from Gank A. So Baked Alaska, let me make sure I'm reading this right for 100 bucks. So Baked Alaska says that the shooting was caused because the shooter had a black son. If you didn't know what the black son was, you might be confused. <laughs> Glad you feel a little better praying for you, buddy. Oh, I, had a, I, had a, I think Baked Alaska might have been the one that was a little bit confused. Again, no reason. No reason to throw anybody under the bus, but he just decides strategically at that moment, you know what? I'm going to use this and just, uh, just, just huck people under there. I mean, I remember Kiwi got fucked with because they were, uh, hosting the fucking shooting video because nobody else wanted to put it up anywhere. And then, and then he got baked Alaska out there <laughs> talking about memes leading to violence. Oh, the violent memes. I was, I was brainwashed into a cult. Oh, we need to be more optically optical about this, guys. We need to be extraordinarily optically optical. My black son. <laughs> the New Zealand breaking news. Baked Alaska inside scoop. New Zealand shooter furious about his black son. Sources say his black son got blacked at a hot tub event hosted by America First when somebody mysteriously asked him to take his dick out. It's unknown who the assailant is at this time. Sources do report, though. They saw a chunky monkey running away. <laughs> they saw a big old fatty fat tits with a black light running down the street, screaming about tacos. We'll keep up to date with this as time goes on. <laughs> so I give you up-to-the-date news on shit that happened fucking four years ago. Oh, baked Alaska. Goofy fucker. <laughs> okay. I think, I think, I think we've hit our baked Alaska uh, quota. You know, I mean, whew, there's quite a lot. There's a lot out there. I'm not going to deny it. There's a lot of baked Alaska shit out there. Of him just saying fucking retarded shit. Uh, see, I'm, I'm just double checking to make sure I haven't missed anything. <laughs> Making sure I haven't missed... A single thing. Oh, fuck. Now that that guy in chat brought up um, Beards that have been baked, both jumping off onto bread tube. Yeah, I missed that event entirely, but fuck. I, I wish I had some Beards and shit lined up for you. Because there's, there's goofy shit from him, too. Uh, but sadly, I don't. And it's also much easier to find... <laughs> it's much easier to find Baked Alaska uh, being a complete fucking retard. Uh, just because he's so out there when he does it. He's just he's just out and about doing it. Uh, somebody in chat, Bunny Evil Bunny, going to talk about Ralph since it's December. I mean, there's nothing really to talk about right now. I mean, I, I enjoyed the No Ralph November break. I know he's got illegal shit going on with the Vickers, like 48 lawsuits. I don't know. All I, all I know is he's still in hiding, which is humorous. And uh, disappeared for days. Uh, his dog died. I mean, I'm not really going to shit on a dude because his dog died, if it's true. Uh, but, you know, I will. You know, if I had any statement about Ethan Ralph losing his dog, it would be this. Statement from Ethan Ralph himself. Oh, and Benjamin just ran over his dog. Man, that fucking Ralph curse is getting sick. Be careful. Feels a little bit karmic. Feels a little bit karmic talking shit about a dude that lost his dog. Try to act like he owned him with some magical bullshit. Now your dog's dead. So I don't really have a lot of sympathy for you, Ralph. But nonetheless, take the high road. Got to take the high road because I can take the high road. Because I'm not a fatty, fatty boom boom. Because <laughs> I don't need spite to motivate me to walk, motherfucker. <laughs> I crawl out of my coffin, bitch. All right. Now we've moved on from baked Alaska. Let's move on. Oh, oh yeah, but to your Ralph, I mean, unless he does something entertaining, it's just it's it's getting boring. I I need something. 
I mean, he's got his little wrestling event, but that's like January. So, you know, until, I guess, January, where I don't know what's going to happen at his fucking wrestling event. It'd be like the bowling event. I've got really nothing to say. So I'll just, I'll just wait till he fucks up again. He will, eventually. It's Ralph. But right now, the, the goodness. <laughs> right now, the goodness is Nick. Oh. I mean, I talked about this a little bit uh, back on um, the Thursday night stream. I'll just put this up as I talk about Nick a little more. Uh, but, you know, and obviously people are just fattening up his picture as a joke. It's funny. He is getting a bit chunky. Uh, but I think I think he's in a situation where he's dealing with a legit crazy motherfucker. And it's I think it's mind-breaking him. <laughs> I think he's getting mind-broken. And he's it just doesn't... What do you do? Chat, I mean, this is a legitimate question. What do you do when you meet your hero and they are fucking schizo? Like, what do you do when you meet the guy you idolize? And he's like putting hammers in the wall looking for microphones like how do you how do you how do you digest that what do you tell yourself to make that less crazy he's just sitting in a corner dealing with a crazy motherfucker and he's got to turn that into a presidential campaign <laughs> we're only like two weeks into it I mean, the last thing i read about kanye was he couldn't pay his fucking uh his rent for his studio so it's gone now like it's it's just disastrous so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what. This is a more entertaining thing to me. I'm waiting for more Kanye shit. So we'll see where that goes. More Kanye shit. More Nick shit. That's funny. Uh, Bake going to jail. That's good. Uh, Beardson. I, I don't know what Beardson's doing other than being short. I think he did like a 48 hour stream or 92 hour stream. Screaming about elves. Mechanical elves. I don't fucking know. 